What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be doing is jumping into our first weekend league game and at the same time showing you guys how to get perfect timing user picks in Madden 18. Now, the reason I'm doing this video every year when Madden is first released, if you go back and check my history, I've always shown you guys how to intercept any pass in Madden. Um, it does come off as, you know, more comedic to make you laugh and have fun. But to be honest, it's become pretty sad as the years have gone on. I used to really love doing it. Like back in Madden 25, you check out my how to intercept any pass. In Madden 25, it was always guaranteed you were picking the ball off. Obviously, the computer's going to cheat a little bit and wild things are going to happen. But it was always fun for me to do it prior to like 16, 17, and 18. But all the mechanics are still the same. You pretty much have to time it, though, a little bit better in Madden 18 because they have what's called, you know, the drop user picks. And that's what's making everybody just want to, yeah, I don't want to say what we want to do, but we've all had a first class ticket to Antarctica to just go line up baby seals and do what's right to them. And it, they're such beautiful creatures, but Madden makes you very upset. So what I used right now is a play dummy. Whoever this guy was going to be, I don't care if he's a number one ranked player, it doesn't matter what he is. We were going to go and find out how to get the perfect timing user picks. Now, the whole objective is this. In Madden 18, they put more emphasis on strafing. Now, strafing is the left trigger, all right? Strafing makes you stand solid and look in front of you and make sure that you can actually face the ball. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to strafe, and then just, if you're on Xbox, it's Y. If it's on PlayStation, it's Triangle. Now, what I do for my perfect timing user picks I don't hold the button anymore. As much as you guys say, oh, yeah, bro, you can hold the button, all the stuff like that, I do not hold the button anymore. What I do is I simply, when it's time, like right before the ball drops, I just, I, when, when he throws the ball, once the quarterback throws the ball and I'm straight and ready to go, I start holding it once the ball's coming down, all right? I don't, you guys like, yeah, bro, you got to hold it as soon as you release the ball. That doesn't work for me. And I'm going to show you, listen, this is actual competitive mode. Now, yes, this guy meets the criteria. He's an absolute idiot, but that doesn't matter. The whole objective is for you guys to understand that regardless of what your opponent is doing, you have to make sure, like, listen, if you're a guy that still have, hasn't gotten over in March that you shouldn't be holding the button, you might be an idiot. But listen, that's why you're watching the video, because you're going to join, you are going to join the G Myers World family. And once you join us, it's like the mafia, bro. You ain't going nowhere. Like, unless we get rid of you. Unless you do something. Like, this dude is getting dotted. We could have made it about how to throw the deep pass, too. This dude's garbage. But unless you do something that violates the G Myers World Terms of Agreement, we all stand together and fight together, regardless of what's going on. All right? And then we try to help each other out as much as we can and do things like that. And it is, for the, for the most part, for the core of the channel, we all do what we're supposed to do to keep each other, you know, we look out for each other and do the best thing. That's the only way that we can actually survive within any community, not just the Madden community. And the Madden community is filled with a lot of savages. So you're about to join the G Myers World uh, family just by watching the video, all right? And you're going to know how to pick that. Oh, yeah. All right? You're going to know how to pick the ball with, with just, just understanding what you need to do. Now, I've already gone over it, right? You, when the ball is thrown into the secondary, you're going to want to strafe. All right. Now, this guy, like I said, he's a play dummy. He's like that that crash dummy that's at um, that's, uh, you know, at the facilities when they're trying to test the airbags. That's what this guy is. Right. So you see him come out in a one, two, two. Typically, what that means is he's probably going to be running, you know, single back tight, whatever he's doing, bro. What is it? What is it like deuce close? It doesn't really matter. Or he'll come out spread like this. It's like the single back with the two tight ends, whatever, whatever he's doing. Once your opponent comes out and starts the game like that, usually he's a complete idiot. Okay, usually. Not all the time. Because also a lot of pro players do it too. Not to say that they're not complete idiots, but th these guys that come out doing that when they try to run like, you see like he's trying to run like the under, o o over and under, all kind of dumb. This guy is 100% moron, okay? So what we're going to do is, we're, you see how I'm using my guy there? And like I said, I, got, I have to put out another video about how to actually use her and what you're doing as far as the middle of the field, even though a lot of it's changed and a lot of you guys are now using your D linemen and your savages, I, a lot of you guys still are asking me, like, bro, g we need to know, especially, you know, from you, what are, what are you doing with the user? How are you actually able to control what's going on with the middle of the – see, right there, I don't know why that guy just jumped up in the air. And I was run committed, uh, run committing for some stupid reason. I don't know what happened there. But we're just going to go ahead and ignore that because sometimes that happens whether you're trying to run commit or not. I don't know what that is and why it happens, but I got to love EA Sports for, for allowing it to happen. It kind of makes me very, very happy. Now, you might be wondering, 
uh, since the video started. What's that on the bottom right hand side that says EA pregnancy test? Well, pretty much EA has their way with me on a regular basis. Jump! No animation. All right, right there. You see what that type of interception that's below? You don't need to stray for that. In that situation, once the ball is thrown, you're going to hold Y or you're going to hold triangle, okay? With, with the perfect timing user pick when they throw it into the secondary, which we're going to get to in a second, you're going to be strafing. Like, you're going to actually be able to see the ball. You're going to position your guy to intercept the ball, all right? So this is just going through a lot of different drives. I didn't want to make it just about, oh, yeah, prepare for that. I want you guys to understand that it's a system. These guys that you play usually don't have eyeballs. Okay, right there. The computer picked that, right? But that's Champ Bailey. You should never try Champ Bailey. And he didn't know that because he's a complete and unadulterated idiot. And now he has to deal with what the pick six business is. All right? So now that we got the pick six, keep in mind, we'll talk about coverages on a, you know, at another time. What I want you guys to do is I want you to focus on getting perfect timing user picks. And that involves like the strafing mechanic, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, listen, strafing is going to take some time for a lot of you guys that don't really have user to, to, you know, to adjust to. What I recommend is going into practice mode and just, you know, letting them throw, go to Hail Mary, whatever they're doing, and just practice being in the backfield, holding that left trigger down and moving left to right with the analog stick just to get a feel for what it does. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be able to maneuver it because what happens is they have some glitches now with the outside fade routes. People are calling it the swerve. I've been labbing a little bit. Last year was the real swerve. This year, it's like kind of mini swerve. You can do it, whatever. But strafing and applying your cornerback in the proper position will completely shut it down, okay? I haven't been fortunate enough yet to go up against the guy that was swerving, like with the new swerve yet, but I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, look, you see this right there? Right there with that situation, you're just trying to swat the ball. So you're pressing X, you're holding X, or you're holding square. That's it for that, all right? You're just trying to swat that. When you're not in position to make the play, do not strafe, else you are going to get beat deep because your guy, once you start strafing, is going to turn around. He's going to actually start looking back and facing it. You can't, like me, if you're a veteran, right, you will be able to strafe and back up at the same time, obviously, and figure out what's going on. But right here, you see that? I'm already looking back at the ball. That's a perfect time to use a pick because he lobbed it. He lollipopped it in the middle of the field. So I'm already straight. That way I'm not moving side to side stupidly. You know, like you're on skates because for some reason EA Sports believes that everybody's on ice skates. So you're, you're, not, you're not going to be moving side to side. Once you strafe, you're going to be solidly looking down at the ball the way I just did. And like I told you guys, once you're strafed up, when the ball is dropping down, that's when I start to hold triangle or I hold Y. All right? And that's going to get you a perfect user pick every time. Doesn't matter. And the reason that it's always perfect is you're not holding it the entire time. Because in Madden 17, we got away with a lot. We were holding it, whatever. I had to teach myself to not do it anymore. I finally got it out of my system. So that's why I'm making sure you guys understand. Because what's going to happen is if EA is smart, they're going to take out the bad timing user pick for Madden 19. If they're not smart, they're going to leave it in. So we'll see if they're smart or stupid. More than likely, they're going to be stupid and leave it in the game. But that's neither here nor there because I don't think that they can fix it properly to not make guys drop these user um, these user picks that people drop so frequently. All right? So now that this guy has already been our, our test dummy, and um, we're going to go ahead and say that the quality was acceptable because he didn't stay for the full game to get a full entourage of just straight perfect timing user picks because he is unbelievably a moron. But that has nothing to do with this. We all need test dummies, and that's what he was for. So listen, pretty much where we are right now is this. All you have to do, number one, you got to get used to strafing up. Number two, you got to be playing a complete and unadulterated idiot. Okay, no, that's not number two. Number two is you wait for the ball to come down, and then you hold triangle or you hold Y. All right? This is what I want you guys to do. Right now, we're just taking a look at all the things because I got another video coming for you guys soon that's going to teach you what I'm going to be doing with my combine badges and um, you know how I'm going to utilize making a lot of coin by just trading in my combine badges on a regular basis, all right? So just stay focused. Stay patient. I got you guys. I appreciate all the new love and the support, but people were asking me about you know how am I starting to get all these perfect timing user picks, what's going on. As we grow, I make sure that all of us grow together. We have like, what, four or five months of straight torture of this game, of torture in Weekend League, and I just want to make it as fun as possible for everybody that plays the game. So definitely go ahead, drop a like. Let's get a video view goal of about 25K for this video. Share it. 
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, one love.